हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अर्पिता राय लेक्चरर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक जाजपुर टुडे आई सेल टीच यू द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट हाइड्रोलिक्स एंड इरिगेशन इंजीनियरिंग ह्यूमन बींग इज द मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट क्रिएशन ऑफ गॉड बाय यूजिंग हिज इंटेलिजेंस बाई यूजिंग हिज एबिलिटी एंड पावर दे आर एबल टू कंट्रोल ओवर द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज येस डैम इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ह्यूमन कंट्रोल ओवर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज by constructing dam across the rivers human being are able to store the water in the water reservoir for the optimum utilization of water for various purposes dam has always been the most disputed and discussed topic so far but no one can deny that dam has made a significant contribution to human development with this introduction i shall start my lecture so after the Uh, completion of my lecture you will be able to know the definition of dam the purpose of dam the types of dam the definition of earthen dam types of earthen dam causes of failure of earthen dam and the precautions against the failure of earthen dams so first what is a dam okay what is the definition of a dam so dam are the solid high barrier which are constructed across the river valley to form a deep storage reserve so what does that mean so i shall uh, explain with the help of this picture okay so you can see here that it is a river okay so this is a valley valley is the low area between two hills or two mountains so dam is constructed across this valley okay so the, the, after constructing this barrier barrier means obstruction okay so water will be stored in this of uh, um, side and the side on which the water is stored is called as the upstream side of the dam and the other side is called as the downstream side so here the storage reservoir is formed apart from that you can see another uh, term that is spillway okay spillway is another section of this chapter uh, i shall teach in the coming lecture sessions okay so uh, for the time being i want to say that spillway is nothing but a structure okay which is constructed in at the dam side for disposing the excess amount of water from the water reservoir to the downstream side okay so this was the definition of dam now let's come to the next slide what is the purpose of dam so why dams were constructed so firstly to store the excess amount of water during rainy seasons okay due to heavy rainfall excess amount of water can be stored behind the water uh, behind the uh, dam so mostly uh, it can protect the downstream areas from the devastation that can be caused due to flood so firstly it is um, uh, for flood control apart from that the water which is stored in the storage reservoirs can be used for several other purposes like your irrigation that is growing of the crops for water supply water supply may be for drinking purpose for domestic uses for industrial uses and for hydroelectric power generation that is for generation of electricity by the use of water energy then for development of fishery that is uh, pisciculture that is raising of the fishes in artificial ponds and uh, in uh, tanks and then navigation for the movement of ships cargoes and boats in the waterways apart from that uh, you all uh, uh, must have visited dams during your vacations or uh, during your, your picnics okay so it is also treated as a tourist spot so it is also used for recreation so these were the purposes of dam now let's go to the next slide that is uh, the types of dam so type, uh, there are different types of dam based upon various various parameters you can see so based upon material of construction based upon structural behavior based on functions based on hydraulic behavior so firstly based on material of construction so which material we, we are using for construction of the dam so first one is the rigid dam okay so dam which is made up of rigid materials okay rigid materials like concrete masonry masonry may be stones or bricks which are uh, connected by mortar and then maybe by steel or timber so non rigid material uh, dam are those dams which are constructed by um, using non rigid material okay not very stiff material like earth uh, rocks um uh, um gravel so this can be used for non rigid materials rest everyone i'll sell explain in the uh, next slides okay so firstly based upon material of construction which i have already explained you can see here it is a concrete dam machinery dam steel dam and your timber dam then non rigid dams are earthen dam rock fill dams so based upon the structural behavior what do you mean by structural behavior so uh, based upon the structure of the dam so how the bodies are resisting the external forces acting on it okay first we'll come to gravity dam so from the name itself okay gravity you all know that gravitational pull is responsible uh, for our weight okay if there would not have been gravitational pull then there would not uh, then we all would have been weightless okay so from the that concept only we can define what a gravity dam is okay so dam that resists all the external forces acting on it due to its self weight only 
okay so what are the external forces acting on the dam and how it is resisting the uh, due to its self weight so that i shall explain my next lecture sessions because this is another section of this chapter now let's come to arch dam so similar to that of gravity dam but the only difference you can see that here arch is used a curved shape wall is used and the uh, forces are resisted the external forces uh, forces due to water resisted due to arch action okay so you can see here the storage reservoir is there your force will be acting on this arch and that will be transferred to the abutments or the supports so one condition for the construction of abutments uh, uh, construction of arch dam is that it should have very strong support or abutment here okay apart from that another condition for arch dam is that it can be constructed in narrow valleys only you can see or v shaped valley this is a v shaped valley so in narrow or v shaped valleys the arch dam are constructed uh, if uh, the val valley will be broader then we won't go for arch dam rather we will construct gravity dam then likewise so buttress dam is a dam in which there is a slanting uh, slanting uh, uh, slab in the upstream side okay that is supported by the triangular shaped by the triangular shaped uh, reinforced walls reinforced concrete walls and that are called as buttresses okay so the uh, to resist the forces buttresses are used buttresses are nothing but this triangular shaped reinforced walls so this is otherwise called as buttress dam so you can see another thing that it is otherwise called as a hollow gravity dam so here the material of construction used is less as compared to gravity dam and other dams okay so this is the buttress dam then come to embankment dam so embankment dam is nothing but the non rigid dam itself so we can call it as earthen dam also so it is made or made up of earthen materials and rock materials and it resists the forces due to shear strength then come to uh, based upon functions one is your storage dam so the dam which stores the excess amount of water for various purposes like for irrigation for hydroelectric power generation or for navigation and other purposes then come to detention dam so the dam that detains the water excess water and prevents the occurrence of flood in the downstream area okay so mostly detention dam is meant for flood flood control okay so detain means what to stop अटकैब से पा के अटक रखी दे अपस्ट्रीम सैड में आउ जब नर्माल कंडीशन हुए फ्लड रेन इट विल लिव इट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस गेट्स ओके स्पिलवे गेट्स आर देयर टू लिव द एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर देन कम टू डायवर्जन डैम ओके सो डायवर्जन डैम मीन्स द डैम इन हुईज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वाटर इज डायवर्टेड टू अ डिफरेंट कैनल और अ डिफरेंट पाइप फॉर हाइड्रोलिटी पावर प्रोडक्शन फॉर इरीगेशन पर्पज सो बेस्ट एक्जाम्पल ऑफ डायवर्जन डैम यू ऑल हर स्टडीड इन दिस सब्जेक्ट ओनली दैट इज वेयर्स एंड बैरेजेस ओके द डायवर्ट द वाटर डायवर्ट मीन्स टू चेज द डायरेक्शन पानी गति को चेंज करे आउ गए चैनल को छाड़े दैट कैन भी यूज फर इरीगेशन अपार्ट फ्रम दैट इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी हियर अ पाइप इज देर ओके सो कंड इज देर और पाइप इज देर एंड द इनलेट इज समय इन द लेफ्ट corner so water is entering into this pipe and it is uh, used for the production of hydroelectric power okay so this is the diversion dam then come to coffer dam so it is a temporary these two pictures are coffer dams so you can it is a temporary structure okay this is a temporary structure uh, which is constructed inside the water okay um, to make that uh, land dry for some construction purposes so have you ever wondered that how the constructions are taking place inside the water bodies okay how the well foundations are laid or how pier foundation are laid or how bridges are laid so this is possible only when we make that area dry so that is possible due to this temporary structure that is a coffer dam so you can see here seed piles are there okay the water will be pumped out okay water will be pumped out from that area then the construction activities can be carried out then uh, after the construction is over that can be taken out okay the next uh, based upon the hydraulic behavior okay it is of two types overflow and non overflow hydraulic means what related to water so how the water flows over the dam if it flows over the crest of the dam it is called as overflow dam okay so example is your weir you know weir it flows over the crest crest means the top part of the dam crest of anything means the chura hala pura top portion okay when it flows over it that is called as overflow dam and non overflow dam it does not uh, flow over the crest rather the excess amount of water will be led to the downstream side by the help of spillways okay now let's come to the next slide that is about the next section earthen dams so dams which are constructed of earth material is called as earthen dams okay they are always in trapezoidal shape you can see it is in a trapezoidal shape okay so apart from that um, since uh, they are more economical and they are constructed in weak foundation so why they, because earth material is more economical of course as compared to your concrete or masonry okay and apart from that if the foundation is weak it cannot it has less bearing capacity it cannot bear heavy weight of gravity dam or concrete dam so we construct earthen dam there so generally earthen dam is made up of your non rigid material so it is less stable so we keep the height of the dam you can see here the uh, the height of the dam is kept less always and base with this 
high okay so here the storage reservoir is so uh, i want to share important information most of you may not be knowing do you know which is the longest dam of world not only in india the longest dam of um, the world is hirakud dam uh, and we are very privileged that it is present in our state only it is in the sambalpur district uh, it is built across mahanadi river so it has a length of about 27 km and that is a earthen dam so most of you may not be knowing you must be thinking it's a gravity dam but it is a earthen dam so hirakud dam is the longest dam of the world now we come to the types of dams so based upon modes of construction it is homogeneous type zone type diaphragm type based upon method of construction rolled fill and hydraulic fill dam so let's discuss each first of all homogeneous type dam so homogeneous means what made up of the same material it is made up of the single material samajatiya man gotte hi material le use bana hai chhe sirf so only by using earth in trapezoidal section so next see the phreatic line should pass well within the body of the dam so phreatic line this is a phreatic line so what is the meaning of phreatic line so phreatic line is the top level of the seepage line so since the body of this uh, dam is pervious means water can pass through it so seepage will occur so the top surface top line of the seepage is called as phreatic line so it should pass well within the body for its stability what does why because if it passes uh, outside the body of the dam then what happens so along with the water the soil particles from the body will also get out of the uh, dam okay so there is chances of uh, erosion also so to prevent that what happens internal drainage are provided in the form of rock toe or horizontal drainage filters okay so that water will seep out but the soil particles will not go away from the body of the dam so apart from that uh, you can see her the uh, here in the upstream phase stone dumps are there stones are used that is called a stone pitching okay why it is provided to because due to the uh, wave or due to water pressure there is chances of erosion in the upstream side okay the soil particles can can come from the upstream side to prevent that stone pitching are provided the next come to the uh, second type that is zone type as the name suggest zone means it has several zones okay it is not made up of single material it's made up of more than one material and here we can see first zone is a impervious zone which is constructed of clay you all know that the property of clay does not allow water to pass through it has very less permeability okay so it is a impervious zone is provided to stop the seepage through the body of the dam and it is surrounded by the pervious zone so these are the pervious zones which is made up of your uh, um earth sand and gravel okay so this gives a support to this internal uh, this, uh, this uh, impervious core okay and it also transmits the force to the foundation of the uh, dam so another the zone is there there is transition filter are provided that is made up of gravel and coarse uh, sand so why they are provided that uh, also controls seepage in case if there may be cracks in the core body uh, core okay so then uh, it uh, prevents the seepage through the body Uh, that is transition why it is called as transition filter because the body is changing from the pervious to impervious zone so therefore uh, this filter is provided in between them so therefore it is called as transition filter apart from that you can see that the um, uh, central core is um, extended beyond the base of the dam okay so it stops the su sub base uh, means uh, the seepage from the sub base also okay so now the next type diaphragm type it is similar to that of zone type the only difference is the thickness of the impermeable core okay the impermeable core is made up of your puddle clay cement concrete or bituminous concrete the thickness is less than 3 meters generally okay so if we increase the thickness of this impervious core that then that dam will be called as zone type dam okay if it's more than 10 meter then it is zone type rest everything is same as that of your zone type of dam Now let's see the next. Based upon the method of construction, is rolled fill dam and hydraulic fill dam. Rolled fill means the dam is constructed in successive layers and mechanical compaction is used. And in hydraulic fill, it is uh, constructed with the help of water and compaction is not necessary. So what does that mean? So I want to explain it. So here there is a borrow pit. Okay, this is a borrow pit. Hala. Here there is earth. so that will be transported okay that will be transported okay to the site where the dam is to be constructed in layers and compaction is done in each layer and this thickness of this layer is from 15 to 45 cm okay so simply the earth is uh, taken from the borrow pit and it is uh, deposited at the site of the construction of the earthen dam and it is rolled or compaction is given by road rollers okay and successive layers are done so here now uh, this is the method of rolled fill rolled because it is rolled or it is compacted then come to the next one that is hydraulic fill the only difference is that here we mix water okay in hydraulic fill we mix water okay so a slurry is formed 
okay a slurry will be formed and that will be transported to the site how by the help of pipes okay pipes which are present throughout the length of the dam and when it comes then the coarse particles will be uh, deposited first because they are heavier and the fine particles will move to the center of the dam so here there will be a central core so fine particles means uh, like your clay and silt so it is your impervious zone and this is a pervious zone so this was all about the hydraulic fill dam and roll fill dam then causes of failure of dam so mostly by these three conditions one is hydraulic failure that is due to water pressure 40 percent of the failure takes place due to uh, then dam then seepage failure that is uh, 35 percent of the failure takes place due to seepage failure and uh, that is due to seeping water and then structural failure because of the own dam's structure maybe due to faulty construction improper uh, compaction improper design codes okay so that may be structural failure so we'll uh, study each so first of all hydraulic failures first case is overtopping so what does that mean so it means washing away of the crest okay the upper crest means the top part the upper part that is your overtopping failure so why does that occur so when the flood discharge is more than the uh, estimated flood okay so we have estimated certain flood discharge if water is more the discharge is more than that then that will overtop okay a second reason is for in uh, sufficient capacity of spillways or in uh, proper operating of uh, spillway gates spillways are not operating properly in sufficient capacity and excess water cannot be led to the downstream side so that also will cause the over, no, overtopping okay so another reason can be uh, improper freeboard okay freeboard is you know that the difference between the top um, of the dam and the free uh, maximum water level is called as freeboard a sufficient safety margin has to be given if insufficient will be given then also overtaking can take place okay so now uh, next failure is failure um, of hydraulic failure is by erosion so due to the wind actions or any region waves may be formed here in the upstream side so that can cause erosion of this side okay that um, there is soil particles will move away from this side so that is called your erosion failure the how can we prevent it simply we have i've already mentioned that is by providing stone pitching okay also the erosion can take place in downstream side maybe because of heavy rainfall and other factors so how can you prevent the erosion in downstream side so we can provide stone pitching here also apart from that another the method is there by uh, you know by um, uh, planting of grasses or turf okay so what happened they will hold the soil tightly and it will prevent erosion in the downstream side now let's come to the uh, next uh, seepage failure okay so uh, before discussing about it uh, i want to discuss about an important phenomenon that is a sand boiling phenomenon you already know about this phenomenon that is a um, quick sand condition you have already studied in soil mechanics okay in geotech you have studied so i want to say you can see here the your water height is more okay as compared to that of the downstream side so here the water pressure is more so um, uh, water will seep from the upstream to the downstream side if it gets a chance so whenever there will be pore or crack in this foundation okay so water will move water seep through this uh, cracks to from upstream to downstream from high head to low head in the in that case when it uh, the seepage takes place in the upward direction okay when it takes place in upward direction then uh, it is an unfavorable condition uh, and the st shear strength will become zero of the soil and soil particles will also be coming out along with the water so that phenomenon is sand boiling you already know that okay because of that what failure is taking place so this piping failure simply progressive removal of the soil from the foundation or from the body of the dam okay in the shape of a pipe like conduit or pipe like cavity is called a piping failure so because of that the dam will sink and failure can occur so apart from that another failure takes place due to seepage that is your sloughing of the downstream so so what does that mean simply the removal of the soil particles from the downstream toe so downstream toe when uh, is always uh, always gets very saturated because of this seepage okay seepage so the uh, part soil particles can be removed from that side that is called a sloughing of downstream toe so how can you prevent that if you provide rock tools okay so proper drainage will take place and only uh, water will uh, leave the body but soil particles won't leave the body and let's come to the next the, uh, so i there are many uh, measures against piping failures two important measures i've mentioned you can see by providing cutoff walls if seed piles or uh, cutoff walls made up of concretes are provided we can see here that the seepage path was earlier this but after the construction of the cutoff wall the seepage path has increased so when the seepage path is increasing the hydraulic gradient you all know critical hydraulic gradient that head loss by length so length is increasing means the gradient will decrease so for that reason seepage pressure also decreases so that can prevent piping fellow uh, another thing i've already mentioned when you provide rock too so that what the drainage will be provided internal drainage when we can prevent their piping fellow now let's see the structural failure that is due to the structure of the dam itself okay so uh, when 
we construct the dam over a weak or soft foundation maybe due to clay or silt okay so then what happens sliding can take place over the foundation you can see this wave mod is produced because of that apart from that uh, when whenever there is a improper slope uh, uh, construction if you give very stiff slope both the cross slope they i mean it should be very flat the height of okay height of the dam should be less okay and i have already said and it should be flatter if it is stiff then what happens if sudden drawdown that is suddenly the um, water is emptied then also uh, that uh, side will slip okay so we have to pro provide proper slides uh, proper uh, slide slopes then damage by burrowing animals okay so if uh, burrowing animals like rats or snakes may cause some burrow holes so that will also result in uh, the failure of the dam if not um, checked then damage by earthquake due to earthquake also cracks may occur on the body of the dam or your um, waves may be generated okay that may also affect the body now let's see what are the protective measures something i have already uh, summed up while saying the causes so if you can uh, prevent the causes then these are the remedies so what are the remedies for by overtaking uh, overtopping uh, failure can be prevented if we provide conservative spillway design uh, generous free board and we avoid areas where landslide occurs then erosion can be prevented by the stone pitching rock to horizontal filter or providing turf or grasses i have told in the downstream phase piping failure can be pro uh, prevented by cut off walls and filling the cracks by introduction of drainage at the downstream side by sloughing failure can be pre uh, prevented by rock to at the downstream toe and sliding of the slope can be prevented by avoiding poor foundations by adaptation of flatter side slopes and by reducing the height of the dam similarly burrow um, animals okay the failure by burrow animals can be prevented if we um, close the burrow holes okay so these are the probable questions that may come that is define dam what are the ty different types of dams what are earthen dams and under what circumstances are they preferred then write different types of earthen dams and draw sketches showing each type and then uh, describe briefly various causes of failures of earthen dams so this was about the first part so if you have any queries or any doubts uh, related to the first lecture you can uh, contact me uh, either through whatsapp or through my email so this is my whatsapp uh, number and this is my email id thank you झीओटीए तो माटी आम सामाजिक और पारिवारिक जीवन रूल कथाटी से मैंने आग को गले आग को जीव संसार आम झील मैंने पुओं ठू पछरे ना एवं तो बदली गला समय बदली गला जुग से ही झील मान आहरी आग को नहीं आत्मनिर्भरशील और स्वावलंबी करने को सरकार सुदक्षा योजन सरकारी आईटीआई मध्यम संपूर्ण मगणार जोगे दे सब प्रकार उत्कृष्ट मानर वैषयिक ज्ञानकौशल तालीम एबे आमो झियो रहिबे सबुठु आगरे सबुठु उपरे मु सफला मु कुशल मु सुदक्षा आमे सुरक्षा